So let me show you how to turn this wall into this. So let me show you this wall, what we got, what we got to work with. So this room has been like a dining room for us. And so we're converting it over into kind of uh, an exercise room, I guess, with the treadmill and we've got a machine coming. And so we're wanting to make this like accent wall right here. And so we are going to take some one by two strips and create some dimension here and paint it darker than these to give us the accent. And so I'm going to show you step by step how we do it. Super simple. So now we are using these one by two strips that we bought at our local hardware store, as you can see, and there's some on the table behind me. And you could use a one by four or a six or whatever if you've got a table saw, but uh, these are a little bit more expensive than doing it that way. But you don't have to make any cuts and you got really nice sharp edges. Uh, so the only thing we're gonna have to do is cut the length. So the first thing we're gonna do is frame it in. Now, you don't have to do it this way. We wanna do it this way because we feel like it kind of gives it a little bit more of a, a, a pop, if you will. Uh, so we're gonna frame in our top, bottom, and sides. So excuse the treadmill right here, but when I'm referring to framing it up, this is what I'm referring to like that. Um, you don't have to do it that way. We're choosing to do it that way because I think in the end, it'll be a, a better looking wall. Um, and one of the important things to note, we have obviously we have studs running along up and down and up there, but down low we don't. So you have to make sure that you're marked for your studs so you know where to put in whatever you're using. We're using a brad nailer to put them in because that way we don't have any major holes or, you know, um, anything, imperfections or things like that. So I've got two brad nailed in there right now, as you can see, and I've got more cut down here on the floor. Let me show you how I did that. Now, obviously you can do it how you want. Um, I chose a starting point down there. I'm going on a 45 degree angle, and then that's a 45 degree angle up there as well. And what I'm doing is allowing for 12 inches from here to this board so from the inside out so whatever this far side of this one to the inside of this one is 12 inches from here all the way up so that you know so that it looks good and the what i have figured out and i'm not a geometry teacher at all maybe i should have paid more attention but is that in between the this outside and this inside, because it's an angle, it's further, um, is 16 and 3 quarter inches. So I cut a 16 and 3 quarter inch board so that I didn't have to pull out the tape measure all the time. And I got an absolute solid 16 and 3 quarters. And so I took it, and let me just turn this around and show you. So you put it, <clears throat> I put it down right there. As you can see, it goes to that one. And then what I went ahead and did, was just kind of there and of course there we are 16 and three quarters and then of course once again 16 and three quarters and uh, actually it's actually exactly 16 and three quarters of that so I don't need one there and then considering the 12 inch spacing and everything but this is also 16 and three quarter inches from there to there and of course um, to there as well and I took my tape measure and go from the outside to that right that mark and it's 12 inches exactly so that is how i did it now if you're good at geometry you're going to come up with things better than me but i don't care because it works and then this this way i'm going to go like that uh, with them so i'm going to have one straight edge and as you can see i've marked my spot and up here up top is a mark where there's a 45 degree angle. So I just took a board that wasn't too long and laid it on there so that I can see where my 45 degree, I went ahead and cut my 45 degree angle on that side, laid the board down here. It was another foot or so longer. And then I went ahead and marked it, cut it. And so it's exactly right. Now I'm measuring 12 inches in to this one because I'm running a different direction and this one as well. And of course up here, that these are gonna be straight. These are gonna be at a 45 degree angle. And then there's another one that's gonna be a 45 degree angle as well. And of course Brad and in now on the rest of it, we're just gonna go straight across.
So all the cuts that I'm making with these boards are either 45 degrees or straight. Pretty simple. So now we got it all covered. Let me show you how we did this side. So all I did was come over here, go at the very top and go 12 inches down and make a mark over there on that board. And then come to 24 and then to 36 and then right on down, going a foot each time. And then of course we kept a foot in between these. So I want to keep a foot between these. And so I did the same thing here which I brought out a level and made sure that I'm level and marked the corner right there. And then come on down again, two foot, and then three, and then so on and so forth, and just keep on coming. And of course I'm measuring everything from up here so that I get a straight shot. So all of these are foot apart. And of course these are still 45 degree angles, just like everything else. Pretty simple. Now, it's time to paint it. Okay, we've got it primed and we're waiting on it to dry, as you can see. And then we are gonna go with a dark gray over top of all this. Well, there we go. Second coat is on, waiting on it to dry, but you can see it. I love it. I think it looks great. Don't know why we didn't do this before. It's a very inexpensive way to really, you know, make a wall come to life. Um, so super easy. And if you try this, hopefully it goes as smooth as ours. Thanks for watching.